Now, in this course, you are going to learn with me how to implement a live project. That is nothing but a web application. Using the technology ASP.NET Web Forms. What I assume is that you might have already learned the basics of database, say Microsoft SQL Server, and how to write queries insert update delete and specially select which includes joins group by clauses sort procedures and you are aware of c sharp programming like object oriented programming and you know how to create web forms using asp.net and how to access the data with the help of adio.net become a freelancer developer or you want to start your own business you want to go to the client get the requirement break them into the design create the database write the data access layer business logic layer presentation layer and develop a full-fledged web application publish it and host it to the life so if you do this course with me you will be in a position to do all those things say we have our plan we are going to learn how do we gather the requirements like once you go to the client they give you the requirement now what is that you need to do to get all the requirements by questioning the client making some kind of group discussions in the team and coming out with some queries asking the client and taking the updated requirements next we will see how to define roles and responsibilities from the requirement and we will see how do we identify the objects like breaking the requirement into objects then we will see how to create the relationship between all the objects that we have then we will go for designing the database then implementing the database then inserting few dummy records in the database so that our backend is ready then we will make design docs for ui like how should your ui look like all the forms we'll make a prototype then we'll go for designing the architecture of the project like we'll decide my backend should be microsoft sql server my data access layer should be adio.net my business logic layer should contain c sharp and my presentation layer it is going to be in asp.net web forms and then i'll have a common logic layer and we'll see all the designing then we'll go for creating solution and adding projects to it. Then we'll go for creating business objects, presentation layer, business logic layer, data access layer. Then we'll see form validations. Then we'll add business rule validations. Then we'll go for authentications. Then go for authorization. Then we'll publish this project and finally bring it live. So as of now, you need not to worry much about what are this, just it is a brief overview of what is that we are going to do in our complete course. So in our next video, we will see what is our project or what is the web application that we are going to develop. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.